My name is Olga Lavrova. I'm Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering at New Mexico State University. I'm also Technical Co-Lead for Research Groups 1 and 4 within our EBSCO project. And I'm also Director of Electric Utility Management Program here at NMSU. Welcome to the Power Systems Lab. Students use this equipment as part of Power Systems class where they need to learn hands-on skills about operation of generators, motors, transformers, transmission lines, and loads. Power Systems Lab includes lab vault power system simulators, microgrid trainer, um, Schweitzer protective relays for our protective relaying class, and our own network simulator. With the support of our EBSCOR funding, we were able to purchase several uh, critical pieces of research equipment and also install them within our indoors and outdoors test lab. This equipment includes a research PV system on the rooftop of Thomas and Brown building at New Mexico State University, an Opel RT hardware in the loop simulator with additional power amplifier for that hardware in a loop simulator. We were able to purchase software licenses for professional versions of PSCAD and ETAP software and upgrade our simulation computers to powerful workstations, enabling faster and parallel evaluation of our models. My name is Cindy Valdez and I'm an undergraduate electrical engineering student at an MSU working with Dr. Lobrova. This is PSCAD, which is one of the software models that we are using for our research. Having access to the Power Systems Lab has been an essential part of my degree in electrical engineering because it has allowed me to see the applied side of the topics and material which we have been covering in my classes. When you see why you were studying all these formulas, it makes you understand how microgrids work in real life. With EBSCOR funding, we are revitalizing our original Southwest Technology Development Institute into our new ideal center. Ideal Center is on the corner of our NMSU campus. It includes a three-phase, four-kilovolt feeder interconnecting buildings containing PV systems with smart inverters, controllable loads, electric storage, and cybersecurity equipment. The whole system can be islanded and can operate as a microgrid. Additionally, we are installing a hybrid DC and AC microgrid, including a residential DC street, which provides the platform to evaluate hardware and software solutions for centralized or distributed algorithms for energy delivery. My name is Steve Melisetto and I'm an undergrad over here at New Mexico State University and my degree plan is mechanical engineering. I was born and raised in Las Cruces, New Mexico and my parents graduated from New Mexico State University. For the past six months I have been building a DC microgrid at the Ideal Center consisting of high power DC voltage sources, PV systems, grid forming inverters and battery systems. Additionally this DC microgrid can interact with AC power systems via 33 kVA grid simulator and the real AC grid at the ideal center. Having access to this equipment allows our students to develop a valuable skill set that will be very useful for their future careers. With the knowledge gained over here at New Mexico State University, I'm going to start my own business in the renewable energy sector. And it's going to be here in southern New Mexico. The hybrid DC-AC microgrid at the Ideal Center is only possible thanks to EBSCOR funding. And at the Ideal Center, we were able to establish a data link between a PMU unit at our Ideal Center and Sandia National Labs. Sandia National Labs will use this data as part of their ongoing research projects. Through our partners, we were also able to leverage 73 PV panels with accompanying microinverters that will be used for research at Ideal Center. The funding, equipment, and support from EBSCO project enables us to really advance research at New Mexico State University to the state-of-the-art level. Furthermore, our equipment, labs, and capabilities are now complementary to similar labs and equipment at national labs and our industrial partners, such that we are now an integral and valuable partner in further research projects.